Hey, welcome back to Twin Cities Live at 4. We're having so much fun chatting with former bachelorette Michelle Young. We learned all about her foundation. Make sure you check that info out on our website. So now we thought we'd delve into what Michelle mm -hmm. is up to in her spare time. We would like to maximize the time of our guests. We really do. Mm -hmm. This is a really tough segment for our guests because this is the hot seat, right? So this is this week's edition of Watch, Read, Listen, presented by Chew Vision. Oh, you know the rules here, <laughs> Michelle. You I have do. to tell us what you're watching, reading, and listening to. It shockingly does tell you a lot about a person oh, and gosh. where they are in your life. It's certainly like a mini <laughs> therapy session. Okay, are you ready for this? I thought I was, but now I'm like, wow, this makes no, me more nervous nervous kind of in the first segment. No, we were right. it up. Yes. too much, just a little. Okay, so you're watching Fool Me Once. Mm -hmm. What is this? There's this whole just limited series segment going on on Netflix right now with it's Harlan Coben. It's called Fool Me Once, but he has a ton. They're all different books um, that have been made into these limited series, which that's the key for me is it's limited. <laughs> so I don't have to get like stressed out by watching multiple seasons, but it's about a woman who her husband passed and then all of a sudden she's grieving, going through the whole process, sees him on the nanny cam back home. No. And so it kind of jumps into that. And I usually think I can figure out the ending and a lot of times I can. Yeah. This one that threw me for a loop. So this is like a psychological thriller kind of a deal? Absolutely. And it kicks it off right off. Like the first episode, it's not a slow burn. I love like, I got to get to the point. You got to throw me in. You have to keep me on the edge of my seat. And all of these Harlan Coben limited series on Netflix have been phenomenal. Oh, I'm intrigued. This is the first I've ever heard of this. Yeah, me too. I, I love these type of things. Is it jump oh, yeah. scary or is it just like, you know, sort heartbeat. of like, heart, yeah, heartbeat, heart pounding. adrenaline. I mean, there, I think there was a few moments where it's like jump scare, but you're not going to get nightmares. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, I like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. If you watch that night, you'll out. be fine. That is right. And then how many episodes are in each limited series? Is it like, I think it's like eight to 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. It's doable. Good. And they're like 40 minutes. Some of yeah. them are an hour, but I can give you a whole list after this. There's oh. some, there's some awesome <laughs> Perfect. So that's on Netflix. Fool me once. All right. What do you reading dopamine nation dopamine nation this is not the first time i've recommended this because it really just dives into how your brain works and it really is relevant to everything that surrounds us with tv um all these different indulgences from eating from posting on social media doom scrolling if you've heard of that where you just kind of yeah. get stuck scrolling on your phone yes it makes you really conscious um with the habits that you're building from day to day because there's dopamine everywhere that you're trying to, you know, make you feel better and right. that's the human way. But it kind of dives into that. It goes through storytelling all from like eating a piece of chocolate to different things. And it doesn't make you paranoid, but it does definitely adjust and have you thinking about your decisions that you're making to make sure that you are building good habits and in a way where you're balancing yourself. So maybe like being more intentional instead of using dopamine hits as like a pacifier for your life. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, when you have this like moment, five minutes where you just have a five minute break, first thing we do is like jump on our phone. Yes. I really am doing that a lot lately. I need to read this and you like know, tone it down. There's something for everybody. And it does go into the scientific piece, but it's something that you can actually like chew on and process. It's yeah. not this like high level thing. And it, like I said, the storytelling really makes it relatable. Oh, that's a good recommendation. Yeah. Highly and recommend I, and I do that think one. that people don't realize that these little devices and the things that we do reach for, there is a real chemical response oh, that's happening. Yes, you know, absolutely. And it's like, why can't I put this down? Or why do I keep reaching for that? It's like, you know, it's not just willpower sometimes no. like there's a real chemical reaction taking place so, so true absolutely okay so is this a podcast that you're listening to whoa that's good yes yes it Sadie is robertson huff is this Sadie robertson from wait who is she I think she's from yes, Duck yes, Dynasty. Yes, she is. And I recently hopped on a few of these because I'm a huge podcast person. I realized that's kind of what has me staying focused a lot of times during the day. I'm used to being in a classroom with kids and having to be on 24-7. You need to start a podcast. And I'm still, I don't know if podcasting <laughs> is for me. I mean, I have done the podcast thing. Maybe if it's something more, you know, less about reality TV yeah. and more about, about your like, foundation. learning and things like that, yeah. right? But with, I love this. It's like almost like an advice column. And so all these different guests come and they talk about the piece of advice that means the most to them. And so you, again, go back to that storytelling. And so there's this really good episode that was just on. And it was these, these two influencers that came in. And they were talking about the piece of advice. And it just talked about how they're so goal-oriented, which I'm very goal-oriented. Mm -hmm. And it's all about getting to that next piece. But your entire life is within those two things, yeah. where you have to be present, you have to be living. And it's all about the next thing. It's all about, you know, I have to get here, I have to get here, and life is so busy. Mm -hmm. And so it really had me thinking about, OK, how can I make sure that I'm being present and not just bouncing from one thing to the next? 
And you so, are you are very yeah. much an old soul. Yeah, that, I, that is yeah. like the perspective that somebody your age, the young age that you are, maybe doesn't really realize <laughs> until you get to like in your forties. Yeah. You know? it's, it's very yeah. good, like learning to be present because it's when hard. I was in my 20s, I did that same stuff, but duh, next thing, next, obsessing over the next thing, but I wasn't aware of it. You're right. aware yeah, of you're it. Yeah, like, you're very aware of you're aware of it. I <laughs> was just like, good. it took me till later to be like, well, that's <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And I think maybe the reason why I've become more recently aware is because there's just, I have my hand in so many different things right now with the foundation, with the program starting, but then I still am in the reality TV world a little bit. I'm in a relationship. I'm still dancing family and friends. I'm on social media. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, working with different brands, going on different trips. And so it's bouncing literally from one category to the next. And I realize I'm not even present in enjoying the thing that I'm actually in. And that's what you gotta work yeah. Even when it's difficult. I told you, so I'm like, I have to do that. Michelle, this is She's really wise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. so we posted a closer look at all of Michelle's picks. What a gem on TwinCitiesLive.com. We'll be right back. Love her. TCL's Watch, Read, Listen is presented by Chu Vision Institute. Dr. Chu provides the most vision solutions in Minnesota from LASIK to cataracts. Contact them today to find out why more Minnesotans are choosing Chu Vision Institute. And for a limited time, call them and you could qualify for your LASIK surgery absolutely free.